Uh, also, if Carlo is not 100%, because it's impossible for him to be 100% after six months uh, without play, uh, I think that he, he got as a, his experience uh, because he's clever like a player. He scored four or five goals. Uh, I think for this is important. Has he done more than you expected? Has his contribution been greater? <laughs> Probably, probably, yes. But I hope that uh, in the next three games <coughs> we we'll continue to do, to do this. Yes, because, uh, repeat, it's difficult after six months without uh, football uh, to play in this level, like Carlo. Given how well he has played since he came back, do you ever think where you'd be in the position if he'd been here the whole season? Would you be top of the league then already? No, 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 I don't think this. Also because there was a strange situation six months ago. Uh, I said to Carlo a lot of times, Carlo, uh, ask for, ask um, apologize for me, it's finished. Uh, Carlo didn't want to do this. Uh, he want to leave the club in December for this reason. But I think that if we are here, also because the other players played very well, because Aguero scored a lot of goals, Zeko the same. Balotelli and all the teams played well. If not, it's impossible he can be here in this moment. So is it more a case of him coming <coughs> back at the exact moment when Aguero was out and Balotelli got, uh, got sent off and, and also Dzeko <coughs> wasn't scoring? Was the timing of his comeback perfect? No, no, but I should because Carlo, uh, Carlos Tevez is, Tevez is a top striker. Uh, if you have Carlos uh, with the uh, other three strikers, uh, you can be better, you can do better, so this is sure, 100%. But it's also difficult for him to play after six months. Uh, for this reason, he played only the last two or three games. Uh, because before it was difficult. But also today, to Carlos today is not 100%. I think that maybe he can find his best form uh, in next season, after pre-season. This is normal. In the blue shirt then, for you? Carlos, uh, I think that uh, has a contract with Manchester City. But I don't think that in this moment it's important to talk about the future for every, everyone. Roberto, Mario was a big player for you <coughs> in the game at Old Trafford. Are you tempted to use him? <coughs> Mario is a, in this moment is a player like the other players. He's available for, uh, for Monday and after with the side. But I repeat, like a player, we, we can say nothing uh, against yeah. him. Could, could you trust him in this game? <laughs> <laughs> I think that in this game, yes. Yeah, yeah in this game, yes. All in this game. Roberto, come sta vivendo Mario questi giorni? Cioè, come lo vedi a livello personale? E poi volevo chiederti se tu senti che puoi cambiare la storia di questo club, se vivi questi giorni in questa maniera. Puoi tradurlo, però. No, Mario normale, si allena come sempre, eh, quindi è disponibile, vediamo poi la scelta tecnica quale sarà. Per me, io credo che noi abbiamo già lavorato per cambiare questa squadra e ci siamo già riusciti. Adesso è solo una questione di riuscire a vincere o meno. Si può vincere quest'anno o un altro anno, ma la squadra oramai è sulla strada per vincere. Sai che oggi è un anno dal matrimonio di William McGee? Sì, sì. Sì, no, Mario, come di usual, è stato molto bene, è stato molto bene, è stato molto bene, è stato molto bene. Per il club, il club è... Abbiamo già iniziato a cambiare la storia del club, credo che stiamo facendo un buon lavoro. And uh, we just have to see if we can win this year or not. But is, uh, the work that we have been doing is putting Manchester City on the right track. Roberto, do you accept that you're probably the only man in football that would trust Mario at the moment? This is possible, but depends <laughs> depend always on him. Uh, well, you know him. In one game, uh, uh, Mario can do everything. Also, can score two or three goals if he decides this uh, for this reason. 
This is our problem. Uh, problem, manager problem. This. <laughs> How would you manage to stay so calm and cool in the build-up to such a big game? It's impossible today. I'm worried for the Monday games, but uh, I think that Monday probably will be different. But it's a football game. It's not war. And also for this, I hope that all the players will be enjoy, all the supporters will be enjoy for this game. I think that it's important to go at the stadium to uh, to watch the game. Roberto, when you when you lost the leadership of the Premier League, it was it was suggested that maybe you'd thrown the title away. If, if you now win this championship from being eight points behind, will that be because United have thrown it away? But we we were we were there for 28 games. Uh, it's not easy to be there for. All championship, all the championship. Uh, uh, I told you, I think that maybe in January that uh, could happen also that we can go in the second position. But it's important to be to be <laughs> to be in the first position in the end of the season. Now we have this more chance, uh, <coughs> but uh, I think that is important that after uh, after Arts, uh, <coughs> we continue to play football. And we start to win. This is important. But do you, do you think that United are feeling the pressure more than you are at the moment, given, given the team's result? No, I don't think. I don't think this. But having been top for so long, would it not be a failure if you, if you didn't win? Was this season not yes, City's mean, big chance after all these years? No. No, no, no. Absolutely not. When you arrive there, is it like uh, one final? If you arrive in, the, in one final, Champions League or Europa League or a, a game like this, and you play against United, you can lose. This is, this is a football because you don't play against a small team. Uh, for us, I repeat, uh, <coughs> we should be proud for our season, for our championship. We have 20, 22, 20, 23 points more than Chelsea that went in the final Champions League. We have a 15 point more than Arsenal, 30 point more than Liverpool. That is another top team. If uh, we should be worried for this, I think that uh, one said the football is really crazy. Most people think that the team that wins this game on Monday will win the title. People see it as a title decider. Do you agree with that? No, 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 no. <coughs> <laughs> I don't think this. Uh, we play in Newcastle after seven days. And Newcastle in this moment, I think that one of the best teams that uh, play football in Premier League. They did a fantastic season. They have a fantastic manager. They play for Champions League. I think that uh, we have these two games, very, very difficult. And after we play against Coupiare, Coupiare, probably we come here, uh, they need to, to win the game. So even if you even if you go top of the league with two games to play, you wouldn't you wouldn't feel that you're in a commanding position. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Sometimes you can lose a title also in the last game in the last minute. Do you, do you think that's the message your supporters want to hear though? No, it's not important what I said, it's important what we do, not what we say. Mm -hmm. uh, the win. Sorry, Take this. Uh, just, just going back to Mario, uh, has he actually apologised to you for the sending up at Arsenal? Yeah, yeah. He, he has said sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's held his hand. Yeah. Roberto, a few weeks ago, you said that it was all over, the title race was over. Do you think that United no. believe that as well? No, I don't know this. I don't think that is important. But uh, also today, I think that uh, we have uh, only one chance because uh, they, lose, uh, they lose a point against Everton. Uh, we have one chance, but they, I, don't think, I think that it will be difficult because uh, for all, uh, the reason that I said before, that we play three difficult games and instead they play one difficult game maybe against us and that after two easy games, probably they, they will do six points. 